Good afternoon, my little woogies. <laughs> so keep them with the Star Wars theme. Woogies. Uh, I am finished for the day and thank the Lord. What a busy day. I've been here, there and everywhere. <clears throat> Never stopped. And the weather has been really bad. It's uh, it's been absolutely well. As Steve from Steve's vlog calls it, it's been hashing it down. Uh, some of the roads, some of the the major roads, only going down. Just couldn't see anything for the rain. Just loads of surface water. So the like the road was like a mirror nearly. It was like, and just so much spray coming off other cars and the rain coming down. You just couldn't see a thing, you know. So that was pretty hard going earlier on. Um, but I managed to get all my jobs done on time. Then I got nabbed by the boss and asked to do a couple of other things because I've done all my jobs. I asked to do a couple of other things to help out, to help them. So I did, you know, to uh, do me enough favours and the. Uh, all that sort of thing, so I can't really decline it. But God, my back was aching afterwards. So, I'm gonna have myself a sit down. Uh, just been catching up on all the comments on my videos and everything. And I've passed 200 yet again. <laughs> I was at 200, and by the time I finished yesterday's vlog, I dropped down to 199. But I've gone past the 200 now, I'm back up to 202. I'm at 202 now, sorry. Not back to it, because I was never there. But, you know, I'm at 202 now, so, yay! Great news. And I'd like to thank everybody for all the messages, all the kind messages being sent in, and saying congratulations. So, and thanks to my good old friend, Rick. Uh, old Salty, the old sea dog himself. Old Salty, uh, Old Salty 65, I believe it is. Um, he gave me a shout out, which is very much appreciated. Uh, it's always nice to get shout outs, and um, he didn't even tell us about it. I only found out because somebody came across my channel and said that Rick had sent him. So that's really nice of you, Rick. So thank you very much for that. Uh, but I'm gonna get on and feed the kitty cats because they're, they're sort of just hanging around here waiting for the food Costa's making himself comfy waiting Franklin's down there doing something what are you doing? Molly's around somewhere I have no idea where oh there she is Molly Moo hello my darling yeah mm -hmm. hello <laughs> Money. Such a sweetie. So I'm gonna get myself away for the moment. Um, get the cats fed before the girls come home. I have no idea what will happen, but it obviously involves breasts. Hmm. Chicken breasts, though. So yeah, obviously having something to do with that. Hopefully, it's a curry or something like that. I'll get this done and then I'm gonna put my my footsies up and relax so I'll catch you guys soon yet again on the phone to Inland Revenue this is a refund I should have had back in June or July which apparently they sent us but I never got and they've had to do an investigation and check see if I've cashed the check and all that sort of thing which took another six weeks and the, I should have had the, a new check sent by last week and never received it. This is going to be absolutely ridiculous. So sick of ringing them. Absolutely sick. You've got to sit and call queues for forever and a day to speak to somebody. 
Still on hold. Fifty nine minutes. Still on hold. Absolutely ridiculous. The call queue said there may be a wait of thirty five minutes. Fifty nine minutes later, I'm still on hold. But the girls are home. Yeah, chicken curry. Yes, very nice. Hello. Say hello. 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 Ooh, the earrings. <coughs> the moment I press record, I start clattering. Anyway, got off the phone. It was about an hour and ten minutes it took them to answer the phone. I told the girl like I, I she made it perfectly clear I wasn't happy, and I said, "Look." I apologise for having to go at you. You've just answered the phone. I said, but are you the only one taking calls for the whole of the UK today? I said, because your, your IVR says 35 minutes. And it's been like an hour and 10 minutes now. She says, oh, the, must be given the incorrect information. I do apologise. Uh, be all and end all. Uh, just looked into it. And even though the claim was put through, which the thing where it takes six weeks, um, it's not progressed anywhere. It's there, but it's nothing's been done with it. Six weeks it sat there with nothing done to it. So she's had to send a query off to chase it up and say, I'll get a call back in the next five days, within the next five days. Um, I've said, I said, Please do not tell me this is going to be another six weeks waiting. This is not on. I'm absolutely, totally hacked off with all this. Uh, not only is it taking far too long for a check that should have been here, then never turned up, then you've got to do a six week um, investigation into it to find out nothing's been done. I said, I don't even know if I'll get all 300 numbers on my, on my home phone. I said, it could be cost me an absolute fortune third time I've had to ring, sat in a call queue waiting for somebody to, uh, to answer. Uh, she was very apologetic and uh, went in a call centre, I know her hands are tied, but the whole system scenario, the inland revenue, it stinks. Seriously, I'm totally paid off with it. So, anyway. Uh, Pano tea, it was a lovely chicken curry, really nice, uh, with rice and poppadoms, or pompadoms as Denise calls them. Shut up! <laughs> uh, very nice. I love, I love poppadoms and poppadoms with, with my tea. Nice and crunchy. <laughs> Got a... We've just been having a chat with Georgia, trying to trying to explain and make it clear how important homework is and sticking in at school and doing revision and all that sort of thing. And I thought a fifteen year old. I know when I was fifteen year old, I wasn't bothered. You know, so you see, um. I'm not even sure if my parents sort of sat me down. I can't remember them ever sitting me down and telling us how important it was. But um, I said it, George. I said, well, what, what would you rather, when you're older, would you rather look back and say, I'm so glad I sat down and revised and done everything and stuck in 110% and got good grades and a good job? Or would you rather look back and go, I wish I'd stuck, stuck in more at school and... Um, and done all my homework and everything because I'm in a not so good job or I don't have a job whatever uh, I've had to sit her down that sort of talk you know so hopefully it'll sink in uh, I'm just relaxing and just on my fitness pal have my read through there, get, getting some advice about my lunch for work, my pack up. Because everything's all bread and everything at the moment and I don't want to be eating too much bread. But 
because I do a driving job it's the most convenient thing so I'm busy getting some advice for that and sandwiches are the easiest thing for me but bread's really bad for a diet and I want to get back on my diet and I want to lose this weight so yes <laughs> somebody's mentioning beef jerky I don't think I've ever had beef jerky but it sounds gross mm. I've had, had boot on uh, South African stuff. I don't know if it's anything like that, but hello, hello. Like a little decoration. <laughs> Coat hanger storage. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, but that's it. We have had a right moan on today, haven't we? So, yeah, that was the other thing I tried to explain to Georgia, but she does this thing, or she has done this thing quite a bit in the past, where I ask her to do a homework, but it, and she goes, it doesn't have to be until Friday, and she won't do it until the last minute, and I think we've tried to get her to do it straight away. So, well, it doesn't work like that, you know, it could, any aspect of your life, your, your washing, your clothes washing, if you left everything to the last minute, you'd have no clothes. We'd end up having to wash them all, dry them all, or complete cycle before you can wear anything, and all that sort of thing in the dishes, the, the washing up dishes, all that. If you just left them and left them, you'd end up with no dishes until the point you've got a mountain like that, like our neighbours used to, until they bought a dishwasher. Uh, try and get it done the night you get it, then you then it's out of the way because you're going to be getting more and more homework you might put it off to the end of the week then all of a sudden you've been given all this extra homework then you've got loads of homework to do at the end of the week so just do it when you get it and it's out of the way all done you've got the rest of the week to relax and if more homework comes in you're not as stressed about getting that just do that when it comes in so yes it's been one of those nights <laughs> so anyway I'm going to get myself away. I shall catch you guys very soon. Thanks for popping by. And appreciate all your support and best wishes and congratulations and everything that you've been giving us. So, yeah. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.